I play the body of Tony Hamlin. Luigi Gao. I play the role of Dominique and various characters. The spinster and the roulette wheel. I play Harry Witherspoon. I play Vinny DeVuzio. He is an optometrist who gets dragged to Monte Carlo against his will. I play Annabelle Glick, and she is a very... She's a dog enthusiast who works at a shelter in Brooklyn. I play Rita Laporta. Rita is a fantastic woman who makes some bad choices and has a little bit of an accident. I love that the choreo was super easy for me to learn, and I love that I was off book on day one. I love Dominique because she's so different from anything I've done before. Um, I usually play really goofy characters, or really like off the wall bonkers characters, and she's sort of uh, restrained and more driven and not subtle at all, but just. I think his obsession with shoes, the fact he keeps putting this sort of, this spin on it, the entire uh, opening is just him and shoes, and he's just obsessed with them. This is what he does. This is his life. Oh, that she's nothing like me. She's, uh, she's brash, and she's wild, and she's kind of ridiculous, and she's not very bright. <laughs> yeah. And she's spontaneous. Uh, pretty much everything. He's just sensible and a wuss, a huge wuss. But he, he's just a fun character to play. I enjoy being Italian and friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Bad. I'm not a huge fan of her. She's fun to play. It's fun to be a neurotic, um, obsessed, um, kind of, not spineless, but just no fun. She doesn't have any fun person. <laughs> but I don't think I would be friends with her in real life. <laughs> I'm in a wheelchair for about two hours, and I'm gonna need some memory foam for my butt. She is sexy, and I am sexy. Two. <laughs> he is worried. Always, I feel like I'm going to like get put ten years on my life just walking around looking worried on stage the whole time. Um. He, he does some questionable things in Act 2, so may maybe that. <laughs> Choreography and singing harmonies. I first played a dead body in this show that KWOT did in 2012 called Horribly Horrifying Fun as of Death, and I played a dead body on the stage like this. But I said, all through intermission. I feel this is good practice for being a dead body. Figuring out how to couple singing and dancing and acting a certain way, uh, but just commanding attention without being really something. The accent, I think, is definitely the hardest part. Uh, the biggest challenge was kind of settling into the character and finding that big hair, big makeup, big, big Rita. Being constantly afraid, because keep, just keeping it up is difficult. I think sometimes singing in character is hard, because I always try to focus on trying to sing as best I can, but when you're trying to sing while you're also scared or trying to act kind of crazy, it changes things up a bit, so you got to work on that. <laughs> I said you lost it gambling. It just came out of my mouth. Spontaneously. <laughs> Six million for my life. I do like seagulls. I want my ambassador! It's Rita's line. He's got a gun. <laughs> okay, 
it. There is one that I have that's Rita's, but I can't say it because it gives stuff away, but it's so funny and it's in my favorite song. Um, but there is one of mine that is, I hope you don't think I'm the kind of person who just goes out and has fun. <laughs> right. <laughs> I really like the response to that, which is something like, oh of no, I wouldn't you think that. Of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of you have your your story of a guy kind of down on his luck, there's music, there's comedy, and there's chaos. And just, it's this organized kind of mess of things that all manage to work together, and I think that's just a lot of fun, and it'll be great. It's a fun show, and I, I think if... Uh, if you want to have a good time, it's, it's just a lot of fun. I think... It's going to be very amusing and entertaining. I think we have a lot of talented people in the cast, and um, yeah, I think it's going to be a good show. It's just so much fun. It's there's you know acting, singing, dancing. It's kind of a big comedy of errors. Plus weekend at Bernie's. Plus just a lot of great musical numbers too, and it's just funny. So it's going to be a good time. People should come see the show because it's hilarious. And you can watch me not talk for two hours. I mean, friends, how often do you see me not talk for two hours? 